Okay, so basically for today's class, uh, we will start to uh, we try to animate, okay, uh, the layers. All right. So in Photoshop, whenever we edit something, we will have layers, right? Okay, that layers all we can actually animate. Okay, but of course not a uh, very uh, advanced animation. But you can use the <clears throat> a transform animation. We can use a uh, the uh, opacity animation or even the style animation. Then after that, we can also include uh, what we call uh, adding our own music, or even you can add in your uh, what we call a video into your uh, Photoshop. Okay, let's say you have your image layer, and then in the middle, in the round circle, you want to put a video. For example, you can do that. All right. So let's take a look. First of all, you need to have your uh, image ready. So let's say, for example, I just simply go to my uh, website here. Okay. So always remember, whenever you uh, you want to create any design, right? You need to have a nice image. Okay. To get the image, I always use uh, this uh, pixels.com. P e x e l s dot com. P e x e l s dot com. And then I go to search for some terms. Uh, let's say uh, I put uh, wedding. Let's say for example. Okay, so let's say I go to wedding and then we can actually use Photoshop to cut these people out and then we can uh, replace with the background or even use the same background and then we can make some uh, minor adjustment uh, into a, as an animation. All right, so for example, um, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say. Not this. Okay, so I'll just. Okay, let's say something like this. Okay, you can see this video. So what I can do is, let's say for example, I download this video. Uh, sorry, this image. Uh, this is a photo. So I just uh, download this photo. And then what I what are the things that we can do? You you have to be creative a bit. For example, in this image, right? Okay, in this image, what I what are the things that I can do is maybe I can cut these people out, and then I can animate the background to make it bigger. So it looks like zoom in. <clears throat> That's one. And also, since there is uh, some you know like clouds kind of uh, thingy at the background, we can overlay with the uh, smoke effect or a fog effect behind this person after we cut them out. All right. So just just an example that we can do. And also, if we have a video, we can create a mask for the video. All right. So for let's say I'm going to use this uh, uh, video uh, image, let's say, and then maybe I can download a, a, a footage, a video footage with the smoke or fog overlay. All right. So to get a fog overlay, you can always go to YouTube, for example. Okay. And then I search for uh, fog overlay. Okay. So you can see there are some uh, videos here something like this. Okay, of course, you need to find a suitable one with your uh, image. For example, like this. All right, so it just uh, has a very uh, a sl a slow movement here going on. So you can use something like this. All right, so let's say, for example, let's say I want to download this uh, video. Okay, what I do, I go to this uh, youtube.com here. Before youtube.com, I type SS in front. And then I click enter. Okay, it will go to this uh, website here. And then you can see processing the link and then you can start to download this video. Okay, let's say for example, I just click download and it will start to download the video over here. So far clear? So far clear everyone? I'm just downloading a, a, an image and also a video to, for, for an overlay video. All right. So I go to open my next uh, tab here. Okay, very good. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's say I go to uh, next tab and then I go to freepick.com. Freepick.com, you can get uh, 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 images, a different type of images. For example, when I go to freepick.com, F R E E P I K dot com. And then if I go to resources here, I click the drop down menu here. 
I can choose whether I want a free, for example, even though I have a premium, let's say I choose free, and then I can choose a PSP file. PSP is a, uh, most of the time you, you can get all the layers, all right? Or I can also choose vector, also can. Okay, let's say for example, for now, I choose PSP, and then I search for some, you know, uh, whatever overlay. Okay, so or maybe background, for example. Let's say I search for background. Okay, so something like this. Okay, you can see there is a, you know, some kind of a element here, some kind of element here. All right, so you can use this to actually create the animation overlay on top of your this wedding photo and also the fog video. You can put this on top and then you can change the blending mode. Okay, let's try to uh, download this. I'm going to click this image here and then I go to download. Okay, it is downloading. Okay, let's say I choose uh, another type of, uh, um, let's say I put stars. Okay, I search for stars, which is a PSP file. All right, so um, let's say something like this, or let's say, okay, a galaxy. Okay, let, let's take a look first, because I'm not sure whether it's a flattened image or each color got a different layer. I'm not sure, I'm just trying to download and see. Okay, if it is separated, then it will be good so that we can animate all the layers separately. Okay, let's say I go to download now. Okay, this downloading. Okay, let me extract the previous files first. Give me a minute. I'm, I'm opening uh, one of the image uh, in Photoshop, okay, just to check whether it has all the layers or not. Okay, so for example, this one, it has an adjustment layer, it has a color layer. Okay, you can see there is a color separate, the cloud is separate. Okay, there is another color separated also. Okay, so for example, here, I'm not sure this is, uh, what is this? okay, there are some uh, paint, painting has been done. All right, so what we can do is, we can actually uh, make this into a layer. Okay, you can see that all the layers are separated. So we can make this into a normal layer. You can see currently this is in a group. Okay, so since it is in a group, so what I can do is I can right click and then I go to merge group. Okay, it will become a normal layer. So currently now we have some, you know, got white color spots here. I just have to change to a, a different blending mode. Okay, clear. Right click on the group. I go to merge group. And then I go to change the blending mode so that it will blend nicely. Okay, let's say I put soft light. Okay, and then this one, this is the cloud. Same thing, merge the group and then change the blending mode. I'm not sure what blending mode they use. Okay, for example, color dodge, all right? And then the color, also same, right click, merge group, and then try to change the overlay maybe, I don't know, linear dodge, for example, uh, example only. And then the stars also same, select the star layer uh, group, and then merge the group, and then you can change the overlay. But currently the star is at the bottom layer, so you don't have to change the blending mode. Okay, if you're putting the stars on top, right, then you have to change the blending mode to screen so that you can see the star effect, something like this. Okay, we can take this, all this layer into our document and then we can animate that. All right, so let's say, for example, I'm going to save this file. Okay, I'll share with you guys later. Okay, I'm going to close this, save it. Okay, I'm going to check another file that I've downloaded, which is this one. All right, I don't want the text. I don't want the social media. Okay, the texture, there are some texture going on here. There is uh, this uh, effect here, it's actually one layer. Okay, but it's okay, we will try to do something with that. Okay, we have texture and this layer. The rest of the layer I can actually 
remove it. Okay, also this file, I'm going to save this. I'm going to close this and I will share the files with you guys. Okay, let's say okay, the files are quite big, but it's okay. Okay, it is uh, uploading. Once I upload it, I will share the uh, a link with you guys. So before that, okay, before that, how we can actually animate in Photoshop, all right? For example, let's say I open the my wedding photos here. Uh, where is the wedding photo? Oops, I think I've uh, accidentally deleted the photo. So sorry. Okay, let me go to download again. One second. Okay, I go back to my Photoshop. I go to File, Open, and then I choose my image here. Just take a look first. Don't do anything because you don't have this file, right? Okay. So here in Photoshop, the easiest method for you to select any object is to use the object selection tool, okay? On your left-hand side, you'll see a toolbar here. On the toolbar, you see one, two, three, four, icon number four, you click and hold. When you click and hold, you'll see object selection, quick selection, magic one. Okay, let's say I choose object selection tool. And then I click and drag around these uh, two people here, yep. let go. And then automatically it will be selecting these people. Something like this. But of course the selection is not perfect. What I can do is I hold my shift key and then select more area. Hold the shift key. Let's say I want the flowers also. Hold the shift key, press and hold the shift key and then click and drag the flower area. Something like this. And then hold the shift key, click and drag a bit more. Okay, hold the shift key, click and drag. Hold the shift key, click and drag. Okay, if it is still uh, not, uh, for example, here, not perfect, right? So this area, I don't want it to be here. Okay, so whenever I want to remove this part from the selection, I hold my alternate key or the option key, click and drag this area. Okay, it will be automatically detected. All right, and then the shoe also, let's say I hold my shift, click and drag to make selection. And then some of the part here I need to remove. Okay, basically it's a rough selection, not very detailed, but it's okay. okay so here I have to add some selection. Okay, selection area is too small. Okay, and then the flower on the head here, shift, click and drag. Okay, this is fine. <coughs> okay, something like this. A rough one, huh? Right, this is not selecting. Okay, sometimes when this type of uh, color, it's uh, very similar to the background color, so it is not selecting. So what you can do is, you can also use the quick selection tool, okay? I'm going to use the quick selection tool. Quick selection tool, it works like a, a paintbrush. Okay, when I zoom out, my brush size is very big. You can see the circle here. Okay. I think my internet is quite lagging. It's responding quite slow. Can you see the circle? Can yes, you see the can see. Can see. Can see, yeah. Okay. okay, let's say I make my circle slightly smaller a bit. But I don't see in my another device. Okay, but it's okay. To adjust, uh, Samuel, what can you see my cursor? Is it a move to? Your circle is moving, yes. 
My circle or cursor? Uh, it's, it's an arrow, moving arrow. Oh, okay, okay. It's supposed to be a circle. Let me stop share and share again. Why? Huh? I'm going to uh, share my entire screen. Let's take a look now. Okay, still the same. Oh my God. Why? Huh? Okay, can you see my paintbrush now got circle, right? Yes, circle. But now, when I choose my quick selection tool, on my screen, it is a circle. But in, in your screen, right, it is not a circle. It's just an arrow, right? White color arrow, right? Yes, white, white arrow. Okay, it's supposed to be a circle, like same, exactly like this. Okay? All right, you, you, can, you can check it out later on your screen. Okay? So let's say, for example, you have something like a brush tool circle a shape then you can adjust the brush size by using a shortcut key open and close bracket below the backspace button so for example okay now you can see the circle right yes uh, i don't know why just now I cannot see all right okay so i just paint it here oh sorry oh so, sorry this is brush huh? not quick selection okay i use my quick selection tool i reduce my brush size now i can see the circle so I just paint it here. So now the selection has been added. You see, using the quick selection tool. Sometimes if the object selection doesn't work, you use the quick selection to add selection or remove selection. Okay, let's say I already have a selection like this. So what I do, I make a copy of this layer. Okay, so how to cop make a copy? I go to up here, if you take a look here, there is a select and mask. Okay, when I click select and mask, okay, I will get this uh, uh, properties panel and then here refine edge. Okay, let's say I don't want to refine edge, straight away I go down here, scroll down, and then I go to output to new layer with layer mask. New layer with layer mask. And then I click OK. So what happened here, the background layer will be turned off, the visibility will be turned off, and then you will have a copy of the layer with the layer mask. So the background will become transparent, but I can on back my background, something like this, and then I turn off my visibility of the top layer, and then I get back my selection by holding control and click at the layer mask. Hold the control key and click at the layer mask, you will get back the selection. And then what I do, I need to remove these people here from the background layer, let's say. Okay, so what I do, I go to select, modify, expand. Okay, I need to make the selection slightly bigger. Okay, I go to expand and then I choose, uh, let's say 10 pixels, for example. Click OK. So now my selection is slightly bigger than this subject. Slightly bigger. So maybe I can make it a bit more bigger. I go to select again, modify again, expand again. Another 10 more pixel. So the selection will become slightly more bigger. Then after that, what I do, I go to my edit and then I go to fill. Oops, cannot click because my background is not selected. So I need to click my background layer and then I go to edit fill. The content should be content aware, you just press OK. And then what will happen is Photoshop will automatically fill the color with the neighboring colors, something like this. Okay, why we do this? So that when we animate, okay, it will look a bit natural. Okay, of course the shadow is not moving, you can ignore that. 
Okay, and this uh, background layer, right? I can double click, it will become layer zero. Double click the background layer, it will become layer zero. And I can actually animate this part, become bigger and smaller. Understand? Even though I'm just scaling right now, but we can do animation on this. All right, so for now, I'm going to escape first. Okay, let's say, for example, I save this file also. This is a photo. Photo as a PSD file. PSD file, it will remain the layers. All right, so let me go back to my folder here. I'm going to copy the files. Okay, and then I'm putting my uh, the link in the chat box. Oops, cannot. I got the Dropbox link. Okay, something wrong with my Dropbox. No worries. Okay, so let me uh, stop sharing. Let me put it in my Google Drive. One minute. Uh, can you see the link in the chat box? Uh, please click the link. You'll go to a folder, but my files are still uploading. Okay, one of the files has been uploaded. Uh, please check the link. You'll see there is actually uh, two files, one zip file and one PSD file. Okay, the, the zip file you can download first. The PSD file is still uploading. Can you download first? Zip file and then extract the file. After you download, you extract the file and keep Okay, everyone. If downloaded, please let me know. Okay, the PSD file also has been uh, uploaded. Okay, please check back the folder again. Try to refresh your page, the Google Drive page, and then you will find a photo.psd. Download that file as well. Okay, you've done, please let me know. Uh, Chandran. Okay, the zip file, you download the zip file and then you extract. Okay, don't op open directly from the, from the Google Drive. Okay, you download the zip file and then you extract. Okay, inside the zip file, there is four uh, items there. One video, one JPEG, two PSD. And then outside of the zip file, you'll see photo.psd. So total is five, Mr. Chandran. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, let me share back my screen. I go back to my Photoshop. Okay, can you please open your uh, photo.psd? Please open photo.psd. Okay, when you open this uh, image, right, you'll have two layers. One is a background copy, which is the, the people there. And then the layer zero is only the background. <clears throat> okay, the original file, the JPEG file is inside the 
a zip file as well, yeah? Okay, so what you do first thing, when you want to animate any of this layer, okay, first thing we go to show the thumbnail, uh, timeline panel. Okay, to show the timeline panel, you go to window, and then you go to timeline. Window, timeline. Okay, and you will see uh, there is a timeline panel at the bottom. Okay, so what you need to do is create video timeline. Okay, so create video timeline, you just click. When you click, okay, it will create a timeline based on your layer that you have. Okay, based on your layer that you have. And then you can see here, okay, the attributes that you need to know, one is the playback button. Can you see that? First frame and then previous frame, play or stop, next frame. Okay, so if I go to next frame, for example, can you see there is a blue dot and the red color line is moving? This is your playhead. Okay, playhead, you can click and drag. Okay, to view your animation. All right, and here you will see there is 0, 0, and then 0, uh, 10 F, 20 F, and then 1.00 F, 10 F, and then 20 F. Okay, this F, right? F means it's frame. Okay, now currently I can see from here, every 30 frame, it become one second. Okay, the time you can check from the bottom here. It says zero, 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 and then followed by the frame if you move the playhead. Okay, the last two digit is referring to the frames. Uh, timeline got nothing, you need to click create uh, timeline. Hafiza? Can you see this? there is a small button there? Can I not? Okay, let's say for example, huh? let's say for example, I go to click here, let me remove this. Let's see. I'm sorry, not this. Okay, I already deleted the timeline. Ah, uh, yes, yes, coming, coming, Henry. Okay, when you open your timeline panel, right, you see it says a uh, create video timeline. Okay, so when I click the create video timeline, you will see your layers here in your timeline. Okay, you need to create the timeline first. Okay, after that, okay, this one is the playback button here. And then if you choose, uh, click and drag this blue color dot here, the blue color icon here, you can see there is a red color a line also. This is the indicator for your playhead. Means wherever you move this, right, you're moving your time. Currently, nothing is happening because we haven't started to animate. This is still an image, all right? We don't have any keyframes on the changes. So that's why nothing is happening. Okay, and when I move my time, right? Okay, when I say move my time means I'm moving this play here. Okay, you can see the time also changes. Okay, the last two digit is referring to frame. Okay, frame means any video that we watch, right? Is actually sequence of images played back at certain speed. Okay, sequence of images played back at certain speed. Okay, means you have multiple images, many, many, many images. It will play back at certain speed. That speed, we call it frame rate. Okay, and if you look at here, it says 30 FPS. That means 30 frame per second. FPS means frame per second. So in this example, in our timeline video here, the video, whenever I, press play button, right? Here got play button, right? When I click play, my red color line will be moving. How fast does it move is this, 30 frame per second. Okay, it is playing back 30 frame per second. All right, 
Okay, and then this last two digit referring to the uh, frame. Let's say for example, you see when I move this, right, it become 20, 23, 25. Okay, now it become 29. After 29, if I move further, it will become one second. Okay, and then I move some more. It become one second, one frame, one second, two frame, three frame, blah, blah, blah. And then I go to, let's say one frame, 25 frame. I go to next frame, 26, 27, 28, 29. When it becomes 30, it will add one second. You see, now it become two seconds. All right, that's because our frame rate is 30 frame per second. Let's say, for example, I want to change the frame rate. Okay, I can click on your timeline panel on the right hand side. You'll see there is a three lines here. You click that and then you change set timeline frame rate okay let's say i click this for example okay currently this is 30 i click this uh, drop down menu here and then i choose 25 let's say i ch i'm changing it to 25 frame per second then i click okay now you can see when i now when i move my time right okay it goes to 22 frame can you see the number 22 and then next frame, 23, 24. When it reached 25, it become one second. Okay, because my new frame rate is 25 frame per second. Every 25 frame equivalents to one second. All right. Every 60 second equivalent to one minute. Every 60 minutes equivalent to one hour. So it will keep on adding frame, second, minutes, and hours this timing here all right so far clear on the time okay anyone not very clear the time here when you move your time the playhead the time will change all right how to change a frame rate okay on your timeline panel you look on the right hand side, you'll see three lines on the top right hand side of the timeline panel. You click the time, uh, the three buttons here, three lines here, set timeline frame rate. Bernice, Ken? Set timeline frame rate. Okay, so then you can change it. All right, um, how should we know how many frames per second? is the most suitable okay good question um okay for general purpose video right let's say you want to put on youtube on a social media on whatever other digital platform you use 24 or 25 is enough okay if let's say there is a requirement from your client okay let's say not photoshop lah. let's say you're using other application okay let's say uh, maybe premiere pro or after effects maybe then you can set according to the requirement from your client. Let's say the client wants to produce a Blu-ray DVD, okay, or Blu-ray whatever uh, uh, CD, right? So then, then you set the frame rate according to whatever they ask. Uh, when it's a Blu-ray, the frame rate is a much higher. Okay. All right. So uh, let's say here, if I click this uh, three dots and then I choose a uh, set timeline frame rate, if I click the drop down, I have 60 maximum here. And then I can choose a custom, let's say I can put 120, for example. Also, can every 124, uh, 120 frames equivalent to one second means you have 120 images played back within one second. Okay. Yes, very good, Chen. All right, and you can go up to 30 also can. YouTube 30 frame also can. But, but the problem is, can your computer handle higher frame rate or not? Okay, the higher the frame rate is, the more resources it will use from your computer. The, you know, the, the hard disk space, the RAM, okay, and everything. Whenever you want to preview, it will take longer time to process. Whenever you want to export or render your video, it will take longer time if the frame rate is higher. 
all right and uh, just for your information our human eyes right can capture up to 24 frames per second only higher than that it become blurry okay you can test it by shaking your head when you open your eyes and shake your head right everything in front of you become blurry okay that's because your brain can process up to 24 frames per second okay all right okay now let's say i go to cancel here okay so this is regarding the timing so whenever you see f right when you have your video you see f means frame okay just remember that okay then next okay you have your speaker icon here this is to mute and unmute your audio all right this is to mute and unmute your audio and then after that you have your gear icon here when you click this you have your resolution currently it says 100 and then i check my loop playback why loop playback so that when i preview my video it will loop automatically all right for example let's say i uncheck my loop okay and then i let's say example only lah. let's say i play this video okay it will play and then it will stop okay if the loop is unchecked so click the gear icon and then check the loop playback now when i play it will play and then it will play again play again play again so that i can see the effect that i've done whether it's correct or not all right better to put a loop playback loop playback doesn't mean your video the final output video going to be looping no this is just for your preview only clear loop playback everyone clear so far and the resolution okay take a look here when i click this uh, gear icon there is a resolution right now if your video is very heavy maybe you put too many layers and then too many effects okay when you play at 100 percent resolution right it will be processing your video first it will take a longer time for you to preview okay so what you can do is you can lower down the resolution to 25 then only you play then it will respond much faster okay this uh, resolution right this resolution is your preview resolution okay not the final output this resolution will not affect your final output remember that okay clear okay very good okay next okay let's say for now let's say i put 100 first later if the computer lags then i can lower down to 25 all right the next one you have your scissor here this is for you to trim your clip okay split at playhead for example I select my this uh, layer here the background copy if i move my time and then i click this scissor button here right it will slip uh, split the layer into two according to wherever we put the time for example i move my time here and then i uh, make sure I select the layer and then click this scissor icon here it will split okay so for now i don't want to do anything so i undo back control z to undo all right so this is one and then next one is your transition can you see this uh, 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 a box with a black and white box here you click and then there is a drag to apply you drag this and then you put it wherever the video is joining okay later we will use that okay for now you can leave it and there is a duration for your transition how long you want the effects to be so currently by default it is one second you can make it longer or shorter okay later we will see when we are joining video so for now just leave it okay next when we look at this uh, background copy this is our layer name if you notice here this is our layer name from the layer name it will be the same so these are the video track we call it video track okay and at the video track you have a small arrow here when I click the arrow, I can see there is a position, opacity, style, layer mask position, layer mask enable. Okay. All this attribute you can animate. Okay. Remember, all this attribute you can actually 
animate. All right, so why, how do I know whether it can be animated? By looking at this icon. There is a stopwatch icon here. Okay, so anywhere you see stopwatch icon, that means you can animate. All right, so that's one. And same thing for layer zero. If I click the arrow here, I can see there is a, a position, opacity, and style. Okay, currently, this one doesn't have layer mask because only my background copy, it has a layer mask. All right. Okay. Now, you see here, the attributes that we can change is position, opacity, style. There is no scale, no rotation. Okay. No scale, no rotation. But what we can do is we can select our layer here. Let's say, for example, I choose my layer zero. I right click on the layer zero. And then I choose convert to smart object. Okay, when I convert this to smart object, for example, if you now, if you look at here, right, position opacity style change to transform opacity style. Transform means it can be scale, it can be position, it can be rotation. Okay, and the way we uh, rotate or we scale, right, in Photoshop, we go to transform, edit, transform. Whatever we do over here, we can animate. Okay, anything under transform, we can animate. Or we can also use the free transform, also can. Okay, just for demo purpose. Huh? Just for demo purpose, let's say I move my playhead here to the first frame. First frame means the beginning of your time. Time must be 0, 0, 0, 0. First frame means time 0, 0, 0. Last frame means, okay, here we have your first frame. For example, I move my time here. Can you see this first button here? Go to first frame. And then go to previous frame, play or stop. And then go to next frame. Okay, I don't have my last frame. How come? Huh? Okay, supposed to have a last frame. So if I move my time to the end of my timeline, this is my last frame. First frame means beginning of your timeline. Last frame means ending of your timeline. Remember that. Okay, let's say for example, I move my time to the first frame and then I click the stopwatch for transform. And then I go to my last frame and then I press control T for free transform and then I make it bigger. And then I press enter. I did this for the background. So whenever we play this, right, this video, okay, the background will be animated. It will become bigger. Can you see that? Okay, so if I reduce my resolution here to 25 and then I click the play button. Okay, now first time when it's playing, it looks like jerking. You need to wait for it to catch first, then it will play back smoothly. Clear? May I know for the layer zero, how hmm. you change from position to transform? You right click on your layer, make sure your layer panel is open. Huh? When you're using Photoshop, make sure your layer panel is always open. You right click on this layer, you choose convert to smart object. Convert to smart object, where is that? Here. Okay. When you convert to smart object, it will change from position to transform. Transform means position, scale, rotation, or distort, or perspective, skew, or whatever. Okay, as long as we distort the image. For example, this one, I just make it bigger, right? Let's say I undo that, control Z. First frame, move my time to the first frame. I click the stopwatch for the transform. Then I go to my last frame. What I do now, I press control T and then I make it uh, something like this. I'm distorting my uh, image, let's say. Just, just for demo purpose, lah, but you don't do this. Okay, I'm distorting my image here then i press enter it will be animated 
Okay, so when I play, oops. when I play, it will become like that. Okay. Palms, Mora. Okay, but the animation, I will show you how to do the animation. But I'm just telling that when we convert the, ob uh, the layer into a smart object, we can animate the transform. That's all. But if you don't convert the layer into a smart object, you only can animate the position. You cannot animate rotation. You cannot animate the scale. You cannot animate the distortion. All right? <clears throat> All right, now let me just uh, remove back my keyframe. Okay, so this top layer also same. I right click on this background layer, convert to smart object. Right click on the layer, convert to smart object. Okay, so now you can see whenever we have smart object, right? <clears throat> you'll have a small icon here as a thumbnail, like a document kind of uh, icon on the thumbnail. Let's say I make my thumbnail bigger a bit. Hang on. Huh? Okay, uh, now you can see clearly. Can you see this? I have my thumbnail and I have this uh, small icon at this corner. But if it is a normal layer, you won't see this uh, thumbnail here, uh, this icon here, sorry. Okay, so I convert both layer into a smart object. <clears throat> Now I can, I can actually animate the rotation just for demo purpose. I select my top layer here. I expand my layer, click the stopwatch for transform. Then I go to my last layer. I press control T and then I rotate. Something like this, enter. So whenever I play back now, okay, doesn't change. Huh? So I need to rotate within 360 degree. Something like this. Okay, now it is rotated. Okay, rotation also, I use the free transform, control T. <clears throat> okay, in this case, we don't want to uh, rotate or whatever. Okay, before we do anything with this, okay, so first thing, what we do, you already have your two layers here. You select layer zero. Okay, make sure you convert to smart object first and you move your playhead to the first frame, you expand your layer, you click at the transform stopwatch, you will get a keyframe. This yellow color thingy here, this is your keyframe. Any animation software, you need to have a keyframe in order for you to do animation. All right, remember that. And for animation to happen, you need to at least to have two keyframes at different time with different value. Then only it will be animated. Okay, so I go to first frame, I click the stopwatch for transform. Then I go to my last frame, last frame. I just press control T for free transform. I make it slightly bigger, something like that. And then I move it up a bit so that the shadow will stay there. Then I enter and then I try to play. So it is still loading, loading. It will be look like, uh, you know, it's moving a bit, but uh, once it's loaded, then you can see the effect. Can you try to do this? <clears throat> Excuse me. Can you try first? You make it slightly bigger at the last frame and then you move it up a, a bit. Any question, please let me know. If done, let me know also. If unable to do it, let me know also. Uh, I unable to do it. My screen actually showing the photo in those small, small box. Uh, can you share your screen? Can you share screen? Can you see my screen? Uh, why not you log in to your Zoom also using your laptop? 
Okay, okay, can yeah. Uh, so that you can sh share screen, I can see clearly. Okay, I lock in now. Okay. All right, all right. You continue first. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sure. How about the rest, guys? Please try first. <clears throat> Anyone done? <clears throat> Sir, I have a question. Mm. Uh, can we do the add path animation here? No. Cannot. Uh? Oh. Smart object no. cannot. Uh, path animation. Uh. Path. I don't think so. uh, cannot. Uh. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's say let's say I add a layer and uh, I go to window, open the add path, then I draw a line. Uh, on one layer only I do the add path and that cannot. Let me try. <laughs> uh, you try first, you try first. I never tried that. You try. Okay, okay. Uh, so now allow me to share my screen. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, by the way, what version you're using, Veronica? For the shop, what uh, version? Okay. Let me let, let me check. What version? What version? Uh, should I go to system info? Ah, it's okay. Never mind. You share first. Okay. I'll, I'll check for you. Okay. Uh, my version is 21. Okay. All right. And then I... Uh, do we share see? screen? Yeah. I, I am struggling here. Okay. Share screen. Okay. Share. Yeah. Why it is like have this square square great, thing? Great line. You go to view on top there. View. View. view beside window view okay okay let me pull this thing okay view okay and then uncheck your grid line got or not grid grid okay uncheck show okay okay uh okay cool okay all right uh, and then i also would like to share another one uh can, uh, can you see my another screen now no oh, and to stop first, okay, and then resume share. Stop share. Okay, sorry, yeah, and because just now uh, earlier I also used the technique you talk, but it has why it has this white line, even though I have done a span 20. Can you see this? The another, yeah, yeah, I'm looking at it. Yes, yes, uh, I need to see your layer. Okay, uh, ah. in, in that case, okay then, because I, I don't save them. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. All right, all right. All right. So, just, just want to check, uh, like just now, uh, there's a grid line. Uh, if mm. in that case, uh, if you mm. do the record, because it's a, it's a view form, but when the real record happening or this, the grid line can see or not? No. No, no, it's no. It's just no, only no. a preview. Okay. No, no, no. It's just a preview only. Let's say, for example, when you are doing uh, editing, you have this, right? But when you export your video, the grid line will not be visible. Okay? Let's say okay, when you're then. editing, you want to see the grid. But let's say when you export also, you still can see the grid. Once export is done, the final output video, right? You won't see the grid, including the guideline. For example, sometimes, uh, you know, we want to measure stuff. I use my ruler here, click and drag. I, I have my guideline. You see? Something like this. Uh, this one also same. Guideline will not be visible when you output your image or your video. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I go to show and then no grid. I go to view and then I go to clear guides. Okay. Okay. So animation done or not? First frame, you click the stopwatch for transform. Then you go to your last frame. You press Control T. Okay, let's say I zoom out. Huh? I press Control minus to zoom out. And then I press Control T. I make it bigger from the top here. Click and drag the stop uh, box here. Okay, make it slightly bigger only, not much. Okay, and then you try to click the play button. And then you can see there is a green color is loading here. Once it's loaded, then only it will play back smoothly. Until the green color is not loaded, right? It will not play back smoothly. Okay. Clear, everyone? Okay, anyone done? Can I have a look at your screen? Uh, Cheng, can you can you share your screen, Cheng? Or Hafiza? Okay, Cheng is going to share. Let's take a look. Click yes when you are sharing. Okay. Play. All right. Very good. Thank you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, now let's proceed. Okay, I go back to this uh, screen here. Okay, the, some basic animation we already done. Okay, just uh, scaling of this uh, layer. All right, let's say we want to put some other element into this, uh, what you call, uh, uh, timeline. Okay, let's say, for example, if I go to file, if I go to, let me see, yeah. uh, where is my import? No oh, import. Okay, here, import. Okay, video frames to layers. Can you see this? Import video frames to layers. Okay, let's say I choose this. And then because we want to import the video, right? Then I choose this, seven ground fog thick slow, MP4. And then I click open uh, from beginning. And then uh, make frame animation, limit to every, you know, just click okay on it. Don't change anything. Just click okay. This will produce a large document and possibly take a long time. Frame will be limited to 500. Okay, continue. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so what happened here? If I go back to this. Okay, not this last. So sorry. Okay, don't use this. I'm going to close this. Okay, if you go to your timeline, you click these three lines here. Okay, you see there is a, let me see, split, work area, delete timeline. Okay, render video. Okay, not here as well. Okay, another option is if you look at this uh, tracks here, can you see this icon here, the real icon? This is your video track, video track, and then audio track. Okay, so if I go to click this uh, video track here, and then it says new add media or new video group. Okay, let's say I choose new video group, it will create another track. Okay, once it add new track, then only you add media. Okay, again, uh, I repeat, you click this arrow at this uh, real icon here, and then you go to new video group. After it created new video group here, then click again, add media. Okay, we're going to add media and then we choose our video, let's say. For example, let's say I go to all files, all format. I choose my MP4 file and then I go to open. Okay, it will load the, the fog video. Okay, so currently my fog video is quite small. So what I can do is, Okay, because this is Photoshop, to adjust the size, you always go to pre-transform, control T. And then you click and drag, something like this. Then enter. Okay, but now it is, uh, you know, black color and white color, right? Gray color. 
So if we want to make black color transparent, you need to change the layers blending mode to screen to hide the black color. Or maybe let's try with the uh, uh, lighten maybe. Okay, you can choose accordingly. Lah. Lighten, screen, or maybe some other effect also you can try. But normally we use screen to hide the uh, black color. And But this uh, black color, right, is on top. And this uh, foggy effect at the bottom. So what I can do is I can press Control T again. And then I rotate this to something like this. So that the moving part will be on top. And also I can make this longer a bit. Something like this. And then let's say I try to uh, play back this. If I zoom out here, can you see this uh, track here? It's very long. Let's say I want to limit to only 5 seconds. So I put my time at 5 seconds. I click this, uh, uh, you know, uh, a split at playhead. And then I delete the second half. Delete. Okay, if I try to play now, so I can see my fog is animated. Okay, it's still loading. Okay, let me try to check my resolution. It is 25. Let's play again. Okay, you can see it is still uh, jerking. My playback is jerking because uh, this uh, green color is not fully loaded. Okay, so if I go to here, let me see. Loop playback, allow keyframe, convert. Let me see if I have any options or not. Okay, no option. Okay, no option actually. Okay, let me. Uh, okay, sometimes you see when when you have uh, certain effects, right? You see when I move slowly, my playback uh, playhead here, then the green color will be loaded. Okay, so means uh, when your scene is very heavy, it's unable to calculate fully. Okay, so let's say if I play now, okay, it is still loading a bit by bit. You can if you notice here. Okay, still loading. Okay, now front part is loaded and here still loading. Okay, once it's loaded, you can see the fog is actually start to move. Okay, if you want to see it clearly, the fog movement, right? So what you do, you just press Control T again. Let's say I, I, uh, what you call? I rotate back to the original position and then I put back over here and then enter. Now I play back. Okay, because the fog is moving quite slow, you don't see much effect here. All right? Understand or not? Yes, no? Do you need me to repeat? Okay, all right. Okay, let me just uh, remove this. I click and then I delete the track. Okay, so I don't have my fog right now. Click the arrow at the real icon here. And then I go to new video group. And then I click the arrow again, add media. Okay, click the add media and then choose your video. If you can't see your video, right, make sure you choose all format over here. Choose all format and then choose your video. You click open. Okay, it will be loaded. And then we want, let's say the entire video, I want 10 seconds only. So you go to, uh, sorry, 5 seconds only. So I go to 5 second duration, something like that. And then select the, the track layer. And then you go to click this scissor icon here. Click. It will cut into two separate objects. If I zoom out, can you see at the bottom here, it looks like a mountain icon. Click the smaller mountain to zoom out. You see, I have bigger one and smaller one. The second half, click and then press delete in your keyboard. Then I can zoom in back. All right. Something like this. So my, my entire video is about one second duration only. Okay. And this object, the video is very small, right? You press control T and then make it bigger. And then enter. So now when I play back, 
you can see there is a movement of my fork. Okay, something like this. All right, and then what I do, I make this uh, blending mode to something else. Let's say, for example, I choose a screen, for example, and then I click the play button. Understand? So just now the one you say control B, uh, control B, T, B for what? T, Thailand. Thailand, okay. T, control T for free transform. If you go to edit, you see free transform, right? At the side here, you can see control T. This is the shortcut. Okay, that is yeah. to scale object. My, my apology, how yeah. to make the, the, the whole photo in mm. the zoom, in the zoom, uh, how to say, uh, zoom effect. When we play video, it has the zoom effect. You go to the uh, layer zero. Yep. Go to your first frame. Okay. You click the stopwatch for transform. You will get the first key frame, the yellow color here. Okay, yes. Okay, then yeah. you move your time to the last frame. Move your time to the last frame. Okay. Then you press Control T. Okay. Then you make it bigger from the top here. Can you see my cursor now? Yeah. From mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Click and drag the top area a bit only, not much, huh? a bit only. And then press Enter. Enter. Okay. Then you play. Mm -mm. Click the play button. Okay, thanks a lot. Mm. Okay. Okay, Henry, uh, how to erase the dark background of the fog video? So if you select your layer, if you select your layer, you will see there is a layer here. Change the blending mode to screen here. By default, it will be normal. By default, it will be normal blending mode. You click the normal change it to screen. Okay, Henry? All right. Great. So my, uh, my fog image is not going inside the timeline. Can you share your screen? Okay, so I've already created a video group and then mm. I add media. Mm. Nothing's happening. All, all format. Can you see a large document format? Yes. Choose all format at the bottom. Scroll down. Scroll down. Down, oh. down, down. Okay. Then select your video. Thank Open. You. Okay, thank you. All right. Then control T, make it bigger. Convert, convert. Oh. Make the blending mode to screen. And then you try to play back. All right. So anyone haven't done yet? Uh, Bernice, Leong, are you done? Long time no see. How are you? Sir, I have two questions, sir. Mm. Uh, the next one, I'm not sure whether you'll be doing or not something like that. Mm. Uh, like, like you focus, the next one, like you're focusing into this couple. Uh, like mm. you show the face and the, the flower, then the, you know, it's like zooming in. Then mm. you see the hand with the, with the, with the, what, with the ring, something like that. Uh. Uh, mm. I don't know whether you'll be doing this part. Right? And then secondly, uh, let's say you want to do the next. Then there's some seamless transition. Mm. You, you, you'll be doing that, I'm sorry. Yeah, can, can. I can okay. show you that. No worries. Okay, okay. Thanks, thanks. Thanks, sir. Okay, no problem. Okay, maybe sometimes you see uh, the whatever I wanted to show, it's in my mind. Okay, maybe not what you're expecting, but if you have an expectation, you wanted to see something, right? You ask for it. Okay, you need to ask for it. Okay, then only you will get. Okay, so in your case, right? Okay, your question is, you, you want to focus on this area. For example, you want it to go nearer, focus, and then slowly pan, and then for, show the face, and then show the uh, flower again, and then uh, zoom in a bit more, show the ring. Okay, something like that. But the problem is this image is actually the whole view. Okay, but if I zoom in, the image may be not clear enough. 
So what you can do is you can combine with two different images. One image is the whole image. Okay, and then maybe there is a, you can uh, have another photo, which is a, a you know, close up shot of this uh, ring maybe, or close up shot of the flower maybe. Okay, then you can join with another clip at the back here, and then we can put transition. Then you can pan around. Let's say I assume, uh, assuming this is a different photo, then you can animate and then show the ring, and then uh, move, show the face maybe. And then slowly, uh, the, there is a transition change to man's face suddenly. I mean, uh, slowly fade out, fade in. Okay, something like that. You can do that. Okay, later I will show you maybe with a different image. I'll import another image and then we will do the transition shortly. Okay, so okay. before that, let's say I want to do the another overlay, for example. Okay, uh, if I go to file, okay, if let's say, uh, you know, the, the galaxy image that we have uh, downloaded earlier, I want to overlay that as well. So I go to file and then I go to embed, uh, please embed it. Uh, please mute your mic, guys. Okay, I go to file, place embedded, and then I choose my PSV, uh, where is that? 36. Okay, I don't know, maybe 36. Let's say I try to place this. Okay, here you can see my image gone, gone into this uh, video group one, but it's okay. Let's say I make it bigger first, something like that. And then I press enter. But I don't see my image because it's at the back here after the, uh, this uh, fork video. So what we need to do here, let's say I make this a uh, bigger a bit. Okay, we have to click and drag this up. Okay, is it moving? It's not moving. Okay, can you see there is a plus button here? Okay, so this is for you to add the track. Okay, same like how we go to here, we add a new video group, right? So you also can click this plus button to add a track. Okay, and then I can choose my 36 also can. But since I already imported my, this clip, I go to create another, video group, then only I drag this, put it up here. Oops, drag back. Something like this. Understand? Yes, no? Okay, now, now please take a look first. Uh, I repeat one more time. Huh? I repeat one more time. Let me delete first. Okay, currently my video group one has been selected. Now, whenever I go to file, place embedded or place link, whatever, it will go into the, this uh, video group one. Let's say I want to put it on top of this uh, uh, track, right? So what I can do, I create another new video group, this one, and make sure this video group is selected. Then after that, I, what I do, you see, for example, now, uh, don't do this. Just take a look first. If I go to file, place embedded, and then I choose my image here, it will be loaded uh, over here. Why it's separated, but it's okay. okay. Let's say I bring it over here. Still processing. Hang on, huh? still processing. Oh, okay, I need to press enter because it has a free transform here. Let's say I make it bigger, I press enter first. Okay, then I, I drag. Okay, here what happened, I cannot see all my layers. Okay, because when we place embedded or place link, right, it will become a smart object. If we want to see all the layers, we need to double click this thumbnail here. When I double click the thumbnail, it will open up all this layer as a separate document here okay so when you double click only you can open but we want to animate all the layers over here right so what i need to do is so instead of a place embedded okay i delete back my track here i created this uh, video group right now 
let's say I put my time at the beginning, then I go back to my this document. Let's say I close first now. I go to file, open, open this uh, image here, open. I, I'm going to select all my this layer here, except for the background. I don't want the background to be there. Okay, I select all the top layer here. I use my move tool and then I click, drag, bring it over here and then drop it over here. Okay, and then I can press control T for free transform. Okay, and then I make it bigger, let's say. Or maybe I can distort because this is a uh, something like a very abstract kind of image. I can distort it. Now you can see I have all my layers here. Plus in my track, okay, if I go to zoom out here, okay, everything will be separated. So I need to add another track. Okay, so add new group, add another one, add another one. So that I can move this up, move this up, oh, sorry, move this up, move it up, and one more, move it up, something like this. And then I can select all these uh, tracks here, move it to the front. Oops, why it jumped? Okay, something like this. Then I go to zoom in back. I go to my first frame. Okay, so we have this effect going on. Okay, of course, we are not going to leave it. We can still adjust the, for example, if I go to this uh, layer here, there is a star layer. If I turn off, I can see uh, very minor changes. If I go to next one, we have this. Okay, this one, what you do, we maybe try to change the, the blending mode. Okay, let's say I put overlay, and this one also I change to, okay, soft light is fine. Okay, soft light is very uh, light effect. Okay, let's say the cloud, the color dodge change to maybe something else. I turn screen, overlay, bit. Okay, let's say I put overlay now and I can reduce my opacity here. Okay, something like this. And then the next one, color. Okay, color is fine. And all this, right, we can actually animate. For example, <clears throat> what I do, I select the cloud layer. I go to my first frame. I click this arrow here. Okay, this one got position opacity style. Okay, I need to convert this into a smart object so that I can see my transform. Click the transform. Then I go to my last frame. I press control T. And then let's say I make it bigger from one direction and then move it a bit. Something like this. So when I play back, I get this. Looks like the cloud is actually moving. Okay. Okay, Hafiza, you select all the layer, drag and drop to the photo. It is not there. Okay, can you share your screen, Hafiza? Can I not? Okay, select all your layer. Use your move tool, drag and drop to the photo PSP. No, no, don't drag the, no, not the layer. From your image, the colorful image, right? Can you see that? Your colorful, ah, drag from there, yes. Drag, don't let go your mouse, don't let go your mouse. Bring your cursor down, don't let go your mouse yet to the center, center, yeah, let go, okay? And then you press control T, make it bigger, and then change the blending mode of each layer. All right. Uh, bottom also make it slightly bigger, mm, yep. Enter, apply first, enter first. Okay, the star, leave it as screen. The star, leave it as screen. Okay. 
Okay, and then go to next. Try to turn on and off your layer first. Yes. And then on back. Okay, so the effect is the dark border there. Okay, so maybe you can lower down the opacity. If you don't want the border to be very dark, lower down the opacity. Yes. Okay, then on and off the color layer. Next layer. Okay, this is not much different. Go down some more. The cloud, I think the cloud. Okay, on back, select the cloud, change the blending mode. Like mine, I choose a overlay. I choose overlay and then I lower down the opacity. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, then you can actually animate by using the transform. If you don't see the transform, you need to convert it into a smart object. All right. Okay, anyone else got problem? Anyone done? Something like this. So I cannot do the thing, sir. Cannot do means what? Cannot do is a very abstract. The thing is not working. What thing is not working? The thing is, a, what is the thing? Samuel, please be specific, Samuel. Uh, what thing is not working? The, putting uh. the layers inside the image, the thing is not working. Ah, like that lah. Huh? Putting a break when you bring the layer, it is not coming out. Okay, you need to tell what layer. The thing is not layer. Huh? The thing is, uh, I don't know what thing. Okay, share your screen now. Okay. Okay. Don't drag your layer. I just showed, right? Don't drag your layer. Click in the middle of the image. Select all your layer first. Select all your layer, not control click. Eh? Okay. Background on it. Background on it. Control click the background. Okay. Bring your cursor to the center of the image there. Ah, huh? drag. Drag. Yes. Let go. Okay. And then if you try to zoom out, zoom out your timeline there. You know the mountain icon at the bottom there? Bottom of your timeline. Bottom, some more, some more. Move down your cursor. Can you hear me? Move down your cursor. Move your cursor down. Don't click, don't click, don't click. Move your cursor down. Move your cursor down. Don't drag, don't click. Can you see there is a small mountain icon there, small big mountain and small mountain at the bottom of your timeline. Ah, click the small one. Click the small one. The one on the left. The one on the left. Mm, click, 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 click. Some more, some more. Okay, can you see there is a five uh, clips there? Okay, you need to create another group and then you need to move it up. Mm -hmm. Yep. The cloud move up. Okay, and then create another one. The color move up. Move up first, move up first. Okay. Move up first. Color, color. No, just now, like just now, how you move the cloud? Move up first, then only you move to the left. Create another group. Some more, one more. Okay, move it up first. Don't move left, right. Move up. Move up. 
the color clip, the other three. Can you see there is a three there? Color adjustment star, right? Uh, you need to move it up. Click and drag up. Mm, yes, let go. The adjustment also click and drag up. Okay, then change the blending mode of the layer. All right, so I'm going to stop now. Okay, anybody else got any issues? Anyone got any issues? Guys? Did you manage to bring your this uh this image? Anyone? Okay, Cheng done. Who else done? Okay, I also animated the cloud. Huh? I move and also scale. Only the cloud. Bernice, did you manage to do it? Bernice, young. Uh, anyone of you stuck anywhere? Unable to move the cloud to picture. Unable to move the cloud to the picture. Means uh, you don't have these layers, right? Bernice? I'm not yes. sure. I just, I couldn't move it there. Just uh, uh, share your screen. Share your screen. Okay. You select your layers. Uh, which one? Where is your wedding photo? Yeah. Okay, this one. Okay. So I need to remove this. Delete, delete the 36. No, delete the 36. Ah, delete. All right. Now go to your uh, 36 PSD. Mm -hmm. Select your layers. Shift click. The background only, up to color only. Okay. Move your cursor to the center of your image there. Okay, click and drag. Don't let go your mouse. Huh? Okay, move, move, move up, move up, up, up. Don't let go your mouse. Okay, don't let go. Bring your cursor down. Okay, let go your mouse. Okay, it's already there. Okay, okay. All right, if you zoom out your timeline, you need to zoom out. Then only you can see your layer on your right hand side. How to zoom up the... Can you see there is a small, like a mountain triangle shape? The yeah. frame rate, can you see the frame rate? 25 FPS? Beside that. Beside that. Ah, yes. Click and drag. Make it smaller, smaller, smaller. This side. Ah, yes. Some more. Some more. Some more. Ah, can you see that? There is five items there. Okay. Okay, all the five items need to go up. So I create new group. New, yes, new video group. New video group. You click and drag up then. Okay, make it uh, bigger a bit. Yes, move up first. Move up. Just move up. Yes, then you arrange it. You select all these uh, clips here and then you make it bigger. Align properly, yeah? Okay. Uh, yes, yes, break is coming soon. <laughs> okay, then change the blending mode or make it bigger first. You select all your layers together, the five layers together. Select so here from the layers? Yeah, can, can. Okay, all the, all the groups? All the yeah, all the groups can. Group video four. Yeah, control T. Control T for free transform. 
Okay, control T. Yep. Edit, free transform. Try. Go to edit and then free transform. Mm. Oh, command T, yeah, sorry. Not control T, command T. Okay, and then make it bigger. You zoom out and then make it bigger. Zoom out, control minus. Command minus. Okay, make it bigger. Okay, yes. Now you change the blending mode of the layer. The I think the main one is the cloud layer. Yeah. Video group seven. Uh, click that. Click the cloud. Change the blending mode. No, no, no. This cancel, cancel, cancel. Can you see there is a normal up there? Uh, sorry, color dodge at the top there. Uh, change it to maybe uh, overlay and see. Overlay and then lower down the opacity. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, uh, before we proceed, right, shall we take a, a short 15 minutes break? Don't dare to ask. <laughs> Why not? I'm not going to scold you. Okay, I don't mind. Uh, if you if you need me to repeat certain things, right, you just let me know. All right, I, I'll just repeat again. Mr. Yavinesh. Ah, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> right from the start, when you, I was when you had a when we had the break, I was playing back the first video because I I had to video it when you taught us how to download the video, the, the fork over layer. When mm -hmm. you said SS, I didn't catch the word SS. <laughs> so I got stuck from there already. I didn't, I, 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 I couldn't do anything. Anyway, I played back the video. I enlarged the part that you, you in addition to saying SS once and so quickly, which I didn't catch, I, I enlarged, I zoom in, and then I finally saw on the URL, you type SS, then only I could proceed. Never mind, you go ahead, I, I will just- But anyway, I, I gave you the files, right? In the link, in the Google Drive. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, keep, I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> oh, okay, in okay, the... Actually, after I download, right? I put it in the Google Drive so that you don't have to download from the YouTube. Oh, oh. Ah. okay, no problem. Then we can continue. I guess. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Thanks. okay. Thanks. all right. All right, no problem. Okay, um, okay, so we already uh, put uh, the, the PSD file as our overlay here, the color and all this. Okay, we can actually always uh, animate this. For example, if you look at this uh, greenish color here, okay. So what I can do, for example, let's say I change this to normal. You see, when I change to normal, I can see very clearly. But when I change to soft light, it will blend with your uh, background. Okay, either overlay or uh, soft light. So when it's blended, okay, let's say I go to convert this to a smart object. Then I can actually animate the rotation of this layer. Okay, I go to expand the video. And then I go to transform. Make sure you start from the first frame. Go to your first frame. Click the stopwatch for transform. Then you go to your last frame. You press Control T for uh, free transform. And then you click and drag for the rotation, something like this. So in this case, right, so what will happen? The green color will be rotating. All right. So can you see this, this line here? There is one line here. Okay, so if I go to my first frame, okay, the line is somewhere around here. So when I play back, I can actually see that line, the green color line, so somewhere around here. Okay, but it's okay if, uh, let's say, if you don't want to see the visible line, right? So you can just add a blur for this uh, layer. Okay, to add a blur, you can always go to your filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, if you want to add, if you don't want to add, then it's okay, just leave it as it is. 
Okay. Uh, okay, uh, Hafiza, how to resize the cloud? Okay, so for example, in my case, I select my cloud layer. I go to my first frame. Go to your first frame. Click the stopwatch for transform. The, the stopwatch icon. Click for the uh, transform as a stopwatch and then you will get the first keyframe. And then you go to your last keyframe, move your time to the last keyframe. You press Control T. Control T is pre-transform. So we go to edit, pre-transform, sorry, edit, pre-transform, and then you just move it from one side. Okay, on the right hand side, make it bigger a bit, and then press enter to apply. And when you, whenever you, when once you enter, right, you will get another keyframe at the end here. Okay, something like this. So when you play back, it will look like the cloud is actually moving. Okay. Clear, Hafiza? Okay, anyone done or not? Up to here. Why is my video like six seconds? Second. Hmm? Why is my video like six? six when I on it, it will on just for a while and then it will stop. Can you share your screen? Okay, what's the problem? And stop. Okay, stop first. Click the gear icon. The gear icon. Uh huh. Okay, it's already twenty five. Okay, you go to image, image size. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Change to pixel. The unit change to pixel. Okay, you see now, guys, uh, for the rest of you also same, you see the image is very big. Okay, this size is not suitable for a video. So you can go to image, image size, the width you change to, let's say, uh, 1920. Two and then you click okay. So because the image size is very big, you, it will make your computer very lag. Okay, so now uh, press control zero. Okay, zoom in. Now play back and see. Play. Is it still the same? Yeah. Uh, why it's showing saving? Did you press save? Uh, no, I never pressed save. Then why it shows saving 0%? It's not. No, I didn't save. Okay, go to file on top. File, save as. Okay, because the image is very big. Um, okay, the photo PSD, is it in your download folder or in your desktop? Uh, my download folder. Okay, your C drive got space or not? Wait, huh? This PC, click this PC. Okay, you got 50 GB. Okay, still can. Huh? Okay, it's uh, still saving, but it's saving uh, very slowly. Try to press escape. Go to your Photoshop, press escape. Press escape in your keyboard. Try. Yes. Mm -hmm. You go to file. Mm -hmm. Go to file, file, file. Okay, no option for me to save as, but it's okay. Okay, then you have to wait, wait until it completes saving. But I don't know why it's not saving also. Still zero, is it? Check. Saving. 
If you end task, mean everything will gone. Is it okay? Okay. Uh, then you do it again, huh? Okay. Uh, can you can end task, end task, and then do it again. Okay? Make sure you save first. Save always, frequently save your file. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, Hafiza, Hafiza, listen very carefully. First, you go to your first frame. Oh, you got it. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Okay, whenever we want to add a keyframe, right, you need to click the stopwatch icon and one time only. You click the stopwatch icon one time only. And then after that, you change your time, you change the value. That's it. All right, so you will get something like this. Okay, let's say, for example, as uh, requested by, uh, I'm not sure who. Okay, let's say we want to, let's say we have uh, this first clip, it's this one. And then we want to, uh, put in another image which is a close up image. Okay, so let's say I go to my Google back and go to pixel. Okay, let's say for example, um, which one? Just for demo purpose, lah. let's say this is the image. Okay, example. So I go to download. I go back to my Photoshop. Okay, I go to, for example, I create a new uh, group here, select the group. And then I go to file because it's a single image. It's a JPEG file. So I can place embedded. Okay, I go to place embedded and then I choose my image here. This is my new image and then I go to place. Okay, and then it will be loaded into this layer. Let's say I move it to uh, bottom layer here. Oh, sorry, enter first. I move it down. Okay, let's say uh, somewhere around Okay, let's say I go to five seconds and then I click and drag, put it here. Okay, and then the size should be slightly bigger so that we don't have any blank space here. All right, or, or I can also overlap something like this. When I overlap, I can see the background. All right, so let's say we don't want to overlap, we want to add some transition. Okay, make sure you go back to five and then you can check by go nearer, you zoom in, Check, make sure it is properly aligned like this. All right. And over here, when you move your time, right? So here is fine. And then, okay, here there is a blank space here. So we don't want it to be blank. So after this video, immediately we want the next video. So we have to overlap one frame, something like this. Okay. And make it bigger. Press Control T. And then let's say I make it bigger a bit, something like this. And then enter. Okay, here, the front part of this video here, we need to add the transition. So I go to this transition, right? Click. And then I put uh, fade. For example, drag the fade, put it at the beginning of the clip. Somewhere around here, let go. So if I, for example, if I zoom out, right? Let's say I zoom out. Oops, sorry. Let's say something like this. Let me remove back this transition. I delete my transition first. So when you have a clip like this, if I take this uh, fade, take the fade and then drop it at the beginning of the clip, you can see there is a black color highlight. Then you let go. Okay, you can do that for the ending also. Okay, if I drag the fade, I put it at the end of the clip also can. So there is a fade in and fade out. But the problem is if the video is not overlapping, you see, for example, I'm playing my video and then suddenly it will disappear. And then slowly the next image will appear. Something like this. Okay, we don't want this to happen, right? So to avoid this, you go to overlap your image here until up to this uh, transition fully 
appear something like this can you see this transition okay so here the transition is fully appearing so when i play back okay now we have first image and then within one second duration so by default the transition is one second okay then the video will appear like this and then your question is can i can we like uh, you know moving to the flower focusing on the watch maybe okay we can uh, animate the transform okay how do we animate that let's say for example i zoom out a bit so that i can see this clip and this object must be a smart object okay now currently it is already a smart object because i go to file place embedded okay if i expand this video right i can see there is a transform i click the stopwatch for transform okay and then i move my time and then i press ctrl t and then i move it let's say i want to look at the flowers maybe okay and then maybe i want to zoom in a bit so i scale it up something like that and then i press enter so from this view it will focus to the flower something like that and then after that maybe i want just to pan pan means i want to move up i want to look at the watch for example so move the time press ctrl t and then put the watch in the middle now and then enter so i have another keyframe so move your time now i want to have a look at this uh, you know whatever jewelry that she has press ctrl t and then move it over here enter and then i go to my last keyframe here i press ctrl t maybe i move it down back something like that and then enter even though i don't see when it's fading out is still the image is still moving okay so if i take a look at my this video here okay it's still loading <coughs> Can you see that? Okay, but of course it's moving a bit fast, right? Yes or no? Okay, it's moving a bit fast. Okay, if you want to slow down the animation, so we have to make the duration a bit longer. For example, I click and drag my image here at the back. When the image duration become longer, our video duration also will become longer. Then after that, we have to move the keyframe so that the distance between the keyframe is a bit bigger. So when the distance between the keyframe is bigger, that means we are slowing down our animation. Let's say something like this. So now when I play back, it will be moving slightly slower. Understand? Yes or no? Okay, all right. Okay, just, uh, just to repeat one more time. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, I totally understand. Okay, so let's say I remove this image, delete, delete. Okay, so first uh, let's say we want to place another image. Okay, so what we do, you go to file, place embedded, we choose another image. Okay, any images that you have, you can bring it in. Can you do that? Or you can download from the pixels.com. Okay, then you go to file, place embedded, and then you choose your image. For example, I choose back this image, and then I go to place. I will see my image in a new uh, video track. I make it slightly bigger. I make it slightly bigger, something like this, and then enter. All right, and this one must be overlapping with the existing video why because we are putting the fade effect the transition okay if you don't put transition we can just simply 
put it over here. So when we play back, the image suddenly will change. All right. So we have our first one and then suddenly change to the next one. All right. So let's say, let's say I don't want the sudden changes. So I go to transition, drag and drop the fade at the beginning of the clip. Then once you can see there is a transition effect, right? Then you overlap, you move it, click and drag, something like this. Okay. And then I move my time here, let's say at the beginning of the clip, expand the track, click the stopwatch for tran uh, transform. Then I go to my last uh, keyframe here, uh, last frame. And then let's say I move it down. To move down, you need to press Control T. Okay, let's say I move it down, sorry. Move it down and also I make it bigger, let's say. Something like this. And then enter. Okay, and at the same time, I also need a fade out. So use the fade, drag and drop to the end of the clip. It will be automatically fade out. If you put at the beginning, it will become fade in. If you put at the back of the clip, it will become fade out. So now when I play back, okay, I get this. Okay, because the ending part, it will become transparent. Okay, what we can do is you can put a, another background, the, uh, uh, a background down here as your uh, black color background. Okay, so how to do that? You create a new layer below the background layer, create new, you will have layer one, move the layer one below the layer zero, something like this, and then you fill with black color. You choose black color, select the layer one, the new layer, alternate delete or option delete, it will become black color. And also, if you look at your track here, also you have your layer one here at the bottom. And make sure this one starts from somewhere around here, or you can align it to your clip. So move your time. This is my last frame. And also last frame, I can make it longer. From the beginning until the ending, I have a black color background so when i play back this when the image fade out it will reveal the background which is the black color background okay clear guys clear or not everyone All right, okay. Uh, can you try to put another image and then you put a transition and also do some basic animation like this. Uh, repeat the fade in, fade out. Okay, sure, sure, can, no problem. Okay, so, yep. Okay, after you drag and drop your clip, make it overlap. Overlap, how long duration? One second, because all the uh, default transition is one second. So you overlap this duration, right? Overlapping is one second. You click this transition effect. You take the fade here, cross fade. You cannot because it, it doesn't touch. Okay, so you use the fade, drag the fade, you drop it at the beginning of the clip. Let go your mouse, done. And then again, click and drag from the fade up here, drop it at the end of the clip. Let go. That's it. Can you try first, Bernice? Yes, we can include any music or audio also can. Definitely. Okay. And... Uh, where to include audio? The bottom audio track. Can you see the audio track? There is an arrow. Click the arrow, add audio. You, you select your MP3 file. 
Okay. If uh, let's say you don't have a nice uh, music, okay. If you don't have a music, what you do is you go to YouTube audio library. Okay. So for example, if I go to my website here, okay, make sure you are already logged in to your Google account. You see, for example, like mine, I already logged into my Google account. And then I go to YouTube, go to YouTube, and then click the icon here, your name icon, and then go to YouTube Studio. Okay, when you go to YouTube Studio, on the, uh, what do you call? On the left-hand side here, you scroll down until you can see Audio Library. You click the Audio Library, and then you choose a nice music from here. Okay, but of course, you need to listen first and then uh, choose the nice music from here. And then you just click download. Okay, it will download as a MP3 file. Okay, let's say, for example, I already downloaded some uh, files here. I can go to, let me share with you a Instagram, YouTube. The size to accommodate Instagram, YouTube. Okay, uh, you mean the, the video size, is it, Janet? Uh, yes, the video size. Okay, the video size should be 1920-1080. For YouTube, that is full HD size. For Instagram, you try to use a square size. Okay? It's always a image size and canvas size in Photoshop. Okay, let me, let me share. Okay, let's say for example, uh, I go to my Photoshop first. Okay, I want to add audio. Okay, to add audio, I click this audio track here. Click the small uh, arrow here. And then I go to add audio. Oh, sorry, my screen is not shared. Okay, I click the arrow at the audio track, add audio. And then I go to my folder here, MP3. And then audio library. Okay, all this music are from the YouTube audio library. Okay, I choose the one of the music and then I go to open. Okay, so my audio track is over here. And then I don't want the entire audio. I want only from the beginning until the whatever time that we have right now. So you select your audio track. You go to your, this scissor tool here to trim your clip okay so it will make the clip as a separate clip select the second half and then you press delete in your keyboard that's one and then we don't want the music suddenly stop we want to fade out for the music also okay so you go to the transition again fade drag and drop the fade to your music can or not or cannot okay this one is for the video effect can you see there is an arrow here? At the end of the clip, there is an arrow. You click the arrow and then there is a fade in and fade out. We want to apply fade out. Okay, you just click and drag. What is the duration? Okay, I suggest you just put one or two seconds, enough. 1.00s. Okay, that's it. So when you play back, the music will slowly fade out within one second duration. All right. Understand? Yes or no? Yeah. <clears throat> Guys. Okay, okay, all right, all right, great. Okay, please try first, try first. Try to put in the music and then you click, uh, uh, cut the uh, clip and then you remove the back part and then you add a fade out. Click the small arrow at the end of the clip and then choose fade out. You just increase the duration. You try with two seconds and see. Try to play first, all right? Okay, try first, if done, let me know. If, if you need me to repeat, please let me know also.
uh, Bernice, fade in, fade out for which one? Uh, for video or audio? Video. Okay, can you see there is a beside the beside the scissor, there is a box here, black and white box, diagonal box. Okay, you click that. There is a different type of uh, fade. Fade, cross fade, fade with black, fade with white, and then fade with color. Okay. Can you see that? Can you see my screen? Okay, so you click and then you click and drag. Hold your mouse and then drag, drop it wherever you wanna put. Then it will apply. And in case if you want to remove this, right, you can click on this uh, triangle shape here and then press delete. Press delete, it will remove the, uh, what we call, the transition. Click and drag, click the transition button, and then drag and drop, drag and drop, beginning at the front, at the back. Okay, if you want to remove, click on this triangle shape, and then press delete. Click on the triangle shape, and then press delete in your keyboard. Okay, try first. Yeah, okay, now take a look. Huh? Take a look at my screen now. Take a look at my screen. Okay, all these are video track. And whenever you see there is a, you know, uh, there is a real icon here. There is a real icon, that means it is a video track. For example, let me just collapse all this. Okay, so on top here, all these are real icon, means it is a video. If you go to the bottom of this uh, track here in the timeline, the bottom one is an audio track. Okay, click at the arrow at the audio track. There is a small arrow drop down. Okay, and then choose add audio. Okay, choose add audio. For example, let's say I remove this uh, audio here and then I go to add audio, add audio, and then I choose my music mp3 or wave music also can and then click open so it will load your music over here but i don't want the music to be so long if i zoom out right for example you see my music is very long but my video is very short right so we want to cut the music according to the video's length let's say i want my music up to here only let's say and then i scroll down select the audio layer and then you go to this uh, scissor tool, you click. Okay, this is for you to cut, to split the audio. The second half, click on the second half and then you press delete. Okay, and this audio also should have a fade out. The audio should slowly, the volume should reduce. So what you do, you click the small arrow at the audio here, fade out, increase. Okay, something like this. Fade in means the beginning of the audio. Fade out is at the end of the audio. Okay, understand? Okay, can you try first? If done, anybody done, let me know. And I think uh, the, there's only two piano stroke here. So what I do, I make this longer back. Okay, and then I trim from the front. Let's try to listen to this. So same.
anyone done please let me know So just want to check uh, the i iPad also can use uh, the same version exactly the same version iPad Pro can Okay Okay the iPad Pro the new one uh, the old one no uh, new one uh, can can use the exact same software as in the in you know the full version one exactly the same huh? yes yes actually i i didn't know at first and then one of my participants said i uh, can try to install and then i was also not uh, you know i thought what is this uh, a tap can run a software or not somehow this uh, like uh, you know like even after effects also can be run and then i was laughing at her my student you know and then uh, once she, she did right, it was like running very smoothly, no problem at all in an iPad Pro. All right. Okay. When we save, what format should we save into? Okay, when you are saving, right, you can save it as a PSD file. PSD file is a editable format, means all your layers will be remain there. That is for you to edit the file. Okay, so you need to save it as two format. One is as a PSD format for you to edit, and another format is for you to export. For example, you want to upload in your Facebook, let's say, or you want to upload in Instagram. Then you need to export your video. That's number two. And number three, let's say you want to upload this as a GIF file, for example. But GIF file do not create a very long video like this. G file, you should create maybe few frames, maybe 10 frames or 20 frames, not more than that. Okay. So you have three options. Whenever there is a movement, right? One is you just save it as PSD file for you to edit. And then you export as an MP4 file, number two. Number three, you export as a GIF file. Okay, but in this case, don't export as GIF because the file is, will be extremely big. Okay. All right. So if you guys uh, got no question, okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to export the uh, video. Okay, to export the video, you can click at the timeline panel here, the three lines here. Can you see there's a render video? Can you see my screen, render video? Yes, yes can. No? can. All right, so you can click the render video or you can also go to file, and then go to export and then you go to render video also the same thing okay let's say for example i choose render video you will get another panel render video panel okay what is the file name photo.mp4 and then where is your folder where are you going to save your file let's say for example i select my folder i choose my desktop and then i click select folder so my user yavinesh desktop and then after that, uh, media encoder. This one, leave it as Adobe Media Encoder. Format is H264. Okay, so format is H264. And then preset, you leave it as high quality. Document size. What is the, your video size is going to be? Let's say, for example, I want it to be full HD size. Okay, so 1920, 1080, for example something like this and then the rest don't change anything all frame done you just click render okay what is the file format to be exported to after effects or blender okay this one you cannot export to after effects or blender okay but you can export it as a psd file to after effects you can send it as a psd file okay but that PSD file will not be animated. Just, right. just, want to uh, yeah. just, want to ask, just now there was some change when you are doing this uh, this video at the time and mm. just now the export, uh, the procedure. What's the difference between the two sides? Uh? What two sides? Uh, like just now, right? When 
when I think when there was when starting to do this thing, right? The mm. time the funds need to choose, is it? The, is there any size to choose? Uh? Like the canvas just now? Uh like the, the canvas. The, will take the, time. the new document, is it? Uh, uh when you go to new document, you can choose your size, right? Yeah. Then when okay. export uh, export out just now, there was also a size change. Uh. Any difference? Uh, yes, yes. If you want to change the size, you can still change it when you are exporting. Okay. It's even better if you set your document size much earlier. When you create new document, right? You set your size there. And then whatever photos that you want to put, you bring it into that document. Clear? Okay. So that means, huh? So that means uh, the best performance will be the initial stage uh, when you do Correct. the studies. Uh. Correct. Correct. Okay. That, that will be the best. Because if you change anything later on, then it will be blur also, right? It can be blur also when you export out that time. Let's yes, say yes. Push. Okay. Thank okay. You. It's best if you set it much earlier. All right. Create a new document. Create the size accordingly, whatever Instagram or Facebook or, you know, for YouTube, whatever size accordingly. Then you bring in your images into that document. Um, okay, Bernice, can I put a thumbnail picture? Thumbnail picture for what, huh, Bernice? To be viewed at where? Is it going to be for Facebook? Is it going to be for YouTube? Yeah, I know. Where? Where you want to view the thumbnail? Is it you, you want to view in Mac, in PC, in the Explorer? Okay, icon on PC. Okay, this one, I would say uh, it will be... Okay, I've tried actually. If, if you put the thumbnail, right? Okay, the video... The beginning of the video, you put some images there. Okay. Then can. In YouTube, you have a separate uh, thumbnail you can upload. But for Facebook, also same. You put an image before the video starts. Okay. There is a no, uh, what you call, a specific way for, for you to put it here. No. Correct. Okay, did I answer your question? I mean, general post on WhatsApp. Yes, you put an image at the beginning of, of your video. Okay. So just uh, another question. I just want to ask, uh, when doing this type of video, right, uh, the application actually, is it the same as others uh, like Filmora? The other apps, uh, other types. No, 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 no. Photoshop is a photo editing software. Okay. They only added uh, some tools for you to create some basic animation. Okay. Like Filmora, After Effects, Premiere Pro, all that are video editing software. Mm. Okay. It has much, much, much more tools for you to edit video. But this one is just a basic video. All right. Okay. okay. Yep. All right. So this, this one you can create a simple video like basically. Not an advanced thingy. Okay, just for your information, starting next week, okay, this is the Photoshop third part, right? Okay, starting next week, we will do uh, After Effects. Okay, anyone familiar with After Effects? Other than Bernice? Anyone? After Effects? Okay, Afiza, some more. Okay, so after effects, going to be another three more classes also. Then after that, I'll do, uh, I think, InDesign or something. Okay, so if you guys are interested in uh, creating videos, okay, so it's going to be every Saturday for now, but the timing, maybe I'm going to change a bit. Okay, may I know for, for those who have attended this class, right, today, is it better if I do it at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m.? Any voting? Can you just type in the chat box? 
Okay, Samuel 7. 7 p.m. 6, 7, paper 6. Okay, just type, just type in the chat box. Type one time enough lah. Huh? Okay, just type. What time do you prefer? So eight mean Hafiza, eight to eleven is it? Okay, all right, noted. Okay, who else? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, okay, thank you, thank you. For those who didn't type, please uh, type in the chat box. Later, I will refer back to the chat. Okay, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Okay, Henry, I will come to that shortly. 9 to 12 is it, GK Tan. <laughs> okay, Moon, thank you. Thank you so much for, you know, thinking about my time also. Okay, I don't mind. Any time is fine for, with me. All right. Anytime from 6 to 11. Wow, 6 to 11. I mean, finish before 11, lah, Henry. 5 to 7. Okay. Mm. Okay, for those who type 6 and 7, right? If I, if I start at 8 p.m., is it okay with you guys? Just asking. If I start at 8, right? Is it okay with you guys? 8, 9, 10, 11, 8 to 11. Mm, okay, okay, very good. Okay, I, I have to uh, do some brainstorm with the other people, then I'll let you guys know. Too late brain cannot function. Okay, Veronica, because actually, right, at night time only, you know, you can absorb more. Okay, a lot of uh, creative people, they work at night. Okay, at early morning and all that. All right. Okay. Um, the thumbnail. Okay, what was the question again? Okay, export. Do you guys understand how to export? Before we end the session. Okay, uh, come back to Henry's uh, question. Uh, there is the transform opacity style. Style is normally for what? Okay, in Photoshop, you also have layer style. Okay, for example, if I select this video, right, this uh, uh, image here, if I double click my image, please take, take a look, everyone. When I double click the layer, it will open up layer style. Yeah, layer style, you can do various things. For example, gradient overlay. Okay, and then let's say, for example, I change the mode to overlay. Can you see this uh, effect, the color overlay effect? Let's say I go to blues, purple, pink, red, for example, I overlay with this color. And then I click OK now. Okay, so all this you can animate. For example, let's say I click OK now. I go to that layer here. Okay, at the beginning, let's say I want that gradient. Okay, so what I do, I click the stopwatch for the style and at the ending or maybe in the middle, I go to the middle of the clip, I double click the gradient overlay and then I choose change the color. Let's say the orange, I change to a yellow maybe. Okay, and then this uh, red, reddish color, I change to uh, let's say purplish a bit and then the other one change it to uh, let's say bluish a bit something like this, and then I click OK. Click OK, I will get a, another keyframe here. Then I move my time, move my time to the end over here. I double click the gradient overlay, click the color, I change to some other color. Let's say from yellow, change to green. Okay, and then from purple, change to uh, maybe, I don't know, cyan, bluish, something like this. And then the blue color, maybe I change to, to another color. Something like this. Okay, and then I click OK, click OK. Once I click OK, I will get another keyframe. So when I play back this, right? Okay, just take a look. 
Okay, the color will be changing according to our keyframes. You understand? So this is under layer style. And this layer style, you can explore also. There is a lot of uh, layer style. Okay, you can drop shadow, you can bevel and emboss. Okay, and shadow, you can change the direction. All that can be animated. Okay, thanks for the question. Okay, cannot request to crack this is full. My, my image size is very big actually. That's why, let me just close this. Can I track this? Still no. Okay, can. All right, clear, Henry. Uh, may I know what model of laptop currently using? I admire the processor. Okay, currently I'm using PC, PC, but my laptop also same spec, the processor. I'm using Ryzen seven. Okay, AMD, AMD Ryzen seven. And actually the speed, most of the time the speed, even though the process is fast, right? The hard disk type also very important. You need to use a NVMe SSD hard disk. It's, it looks like a RAM only, very fast. Your entire performance, it will become 10 or 20 times faster by changing the hard disk alone, all right? Uh, repeat the later style. Uh, what is that, Bernice? Layer. Can you repeat the layer style? Uh, layer style. Okay, let's say, for example, uh, let's say I have a text. Okay, I go to my type tool, T for type, and then let's say I change to a white color. I just click here. And then I type uh, whatever uh, text, and then I press Control T. I make my text bigger. Okay, and then I make this longer also. Okay, so that the entire duration I can see my text. And then maybe not very long. Uh, let's say I make it shorter, and then I put a fade at the back of the text so that it will slowly disappear. Okay, something like this. Okay, then. What I can do is, let's say I, I'm going to drop a shadow. Okay, so I go to my first frame. Okay, it's still processing. Let me turn off all this uh, visible here. Turn off all this. Okay, Ryan. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, it's processing. Okay, basically like this lah. You go to apply your layer style in Photoshop. You can apply layer style, and then you can actually animate your layer style. For example, let's say I put outer glow, outer glow, outer glow here, outer glow, and then I choose uh, some kind of a uh, style for my outer glow. And then opacity, I increase the size. Also, I increase. Can you see that? Where do you get the layer style button? Okay, you go to layer, layer style, layer style, layer style. Okay, here, layer style. And then you choose uh, whatever layer style that you want. Okay. Can, huh? Okay, look. so let's say I go to outer glow here. Okay, I choose uh, some kind of outer glow. I click OK. And here on my text here, why it's not moving? My time is not moving. Okay, scratch dish is full. Okay, my C drive already full. Okay, so here you go to the layer uh, style, right? You click the stopwatch for the style and then change your time, change the value of the outer glow. Okay, for example, outer glow, I set my size and all that, right? I change the value. Then when I play, it will be animated. 
from A size to B size. Understand or not, Bernice? Okay, uh, not to worry, I'll be uh, giving guys the video after I've uploaded. Okay, maybe you can refer back. Okay, if you still have any question, then you can get back to me. Okay? Uh, sir, yes. one yeah. question. If, if let's say the if we let's say we create our own um uh this this text lah, then mm. we want to insert lah. If you create from somewhere, we have our own version of text lah. Let's say we want to put inside. I think it's a bit hard lah. It's better to create from here. Is it like this? Uh, not not really. Sometimes you know uh from templates right. Okay, if you download a text style, a text design from a, a vector template, maybe from Illustrator. Okay, text something like that, you create it over there. You just change your own text from the template and then you bring it over here. Can. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, thanks. Later, later, okay. la, somehow later try. La. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, thanks. All right. Okay, if uh, no question, we will end the session now. And then we will meet again next week. Okay, the time, everything I will update. Okay, maybe by uh, Facebook or WhatsApp, uh, I'll let you guys know. Okay, thank you so much. See you next week. Thank you. Okay, thanks everyone. Thank you. Bye.